My name is Amy Wilkinson. I'm a White House Fellow. My question is how you would define the key characteristics of effective leadership that allow you to go and be an advocate for good. Trust. The, the longer I have uh, been in public service and the more people have asked me about leadership over the years, uh, leadership ultimately comes down to creating conditions of trust within an organization. Good leaders are people who are trusted by followers. Leaders take organizations past the level that the science of management says is possible. Uh, one of my sergeants back in uh, the infantry school at Fort Benning almost 50 years ago, which is where I learned everything I ever got to learn about leadership, was at the infantry school. And he said to me one day, he said, Lieutenant, you'll know you're a good leader when people follow you, if only out of curiosity. <laughs> I've never had a better uh, definition. Because what he was saying, and, I, and I've, seen it, I've seen it experienced in my life so many times, what he was saying is they trust you. And you have built up that trust. How did you do it? Clear mission and statement, selfless service. Um, people look to you and they trust you because you're serving selflessly as the leader, not self-serving, selflessly. And that you prepare the followers, you train them, you give them what they need to get the job done. Don't give them a job if you're not going to give them the resources. And that you're prepared to take the risks with them. And so they would teach us at the infantry school, no matter how cold it is, Lieutenant, you must never look cold. No matter how hungry you all are, Lieutenant, you must never appear hungry. No matter how terrified you are, Lieutenant, you must never look terrified. Because if you are scared, terrified, hungry, and cold, they will be scared, terrified, hungry, and cold. I've gotten away with that many, many times in the course of my career by being scared to death, cold, and wanting to go to sleep. But no, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's go around this corner, if only out of curiosity. And they'll follow you into the darkest night, down the deepest valley, up the highest hill, if they trust you. So the essence of leadership is about doing all that the science of management says you can with resources, but then taking that extra step and giving it that spark. And that spark comes from getting people to trust you so that they will follow you, if only out of curiosity. Thank you.